guys, so we just got to our Airbnb. This is our view at night. I'm gonna be come out into our patio. Love this signage. This is love our oceans. So this is a great table to sit and have breakfast, dinner, lunch, everything. Absolutely love all the shrubbery and the greenery surrounding us. It's so beautiful. And this is the entrance. So I already have the door open. But basically, there are these two wide open doors. I believe these doors are double doors that can open up and all the way. And this is the living space. So over here is a huge couch and then a second chair. You can see they have some beach towels, pool towels for us. Oh, let me turn this TV off. Over here we have the kitchen. I love that there is a counter. I love the open concept. You can see all the way through. It's a very huge kitchen. A microwave it's a very small microwave but I don't usually use a microwave so that does not really make a difference to me but a lot of cupboard space in case you're interested in storing a bunch of things depending on how long you want to stay huge pantry over here the refrigerator all right and down the hallway are the bedrooms this is the first bathroom the bathrooms are all very very big I love them And next to this bathroom is the first bedroom, which has two double beds. Um, a lot of closet space. This is one thing I love about this place. Lots and lots of storage. I need this in New York, guys, seriously. So this mirror, this room does not have a long mirror, but the other one does. All right, so further down the hallway is the master bedroom. It's here to hook your stuff. No, so this one has a, a full length mirror, which is definitely a necessity for me and a lot of storage space. So they're for like ceiling to floor uh, closets. And I think this is a queen size bed. And just a little dresser area here with another mirror. Two side tables um, for the bed and some cute little lamps. They're so cute. I love the touch of the um, Caribbean theme that goes throughout this entire apartment. Definitely feel like I am in a Caribbean home and I love it. And this is the ensuite bathroom for the master bedroom. Each room has a regular shower, standing shower. There are no tubs, in case you're interested. Which is what I actually prefer. I don't hardly ever take a bath, so no difference to me. All right, so that is a quick tour of our space. Jay's digging in y'all. Our flight landed close to 10. And then it took forever for us to take our, get through customs and then get our bags. And then we stopped to get food because we were starving. So Jay's already digging in. Let me show you guys what we're, oh my God, is, that is not a snapper. That is not a, this thing is huge guys. This is the fish that he just got. This is, everything is fresh. It was fried on the spot. Everything was prepared on salt. We are having it with our bread fruit. This is Jay's meal, and this is mine. I'm having kingfish with some fried bread fruit and some salad. On size. We going in. We going in. The next day, I bumped into quite a few of you who have been watching my channel or following me on IG 
it was so good meeting all of you and i look forward to seeing even more of you on my next trip back and thanks so much for supporting me i love that my bajan fam are supporting me i mean <laughs> more than anything else i think that we really should support each other as a caribbean family so i thank you all so much Later that night, we stopped by the food and wine festival, and again, almost immediately, I ran into one of you ladies. Hey! <laughs> by the way, guys, there will be a lot more content on the Jiglo vlog, so a lot of the content that we filmed at the events are going to be on the Jiglo vlog, okay? We're really trying to build that channel up as well. So I thank you guys so much. Morning, fam. So it's Monday morning and we're headed to the hospital to see the doctor. We need to ask some questions just to understand what is the process um, going forward for my mom. So we were up early. It is about 7.30, maybe 7.40. So we're heading out. I actually have to work today because I'm working from home. But the good thing is my job, my boss, they've allowed me to do some of the things that I need to do and not like stress like when I'm available, you know. Um, traffic is really crazy in Barbados right now. It's Monday morning, it's just like anywhere else there is like good luck. We also stopped in Bridgetown for a bit after we left the hospital. Again, a lot of that content will be on the Jiglo vlog. Hey guys, so look at these. Now, the bananas here are usually organic. This is actually ready to eat, this one right here. Um, we know what avocado is like, but we got some fresh guavas, so good. I'm having one right now. The inside is red. Sometimes you get the red or the insides are white. So good. Usually while I'm working out, mom watches on and sometimes she actually tries to do a little bit of working out herself and Jay is always there encouraging her to just keep moving. Okay fam, it is now Wednesday. I think this is the 4th or the 5th. I think it's the 4th or the 5th of October and I'm doing my hair. We've been here now four days. We came on Saturday. We came on Friday night. Alright, so it's about four days that we've been here and I haven't even done a lot. We've been really focusing on just taking care of my mom and everything else is secondary. So we just gave her some soup. Jay cooked yesterday. We have some leftovers. And I've decided I'm just gonna make myself presentable because I've been making like a hot mess for the last couple of days. So I'm going to do my hair. I already slicked it back and I'm going to 
add my pony. I'm gonna go into the pool today. It was a little rainy yesterday. I probably would have gone in yesterday as well. So I did some work already today. So what I usually do is I kind of like braid the extensions onto my own hair. And that keeps it really secure. I finished my hair. All done. relaxed lounged outside for a bit on the patio and caught up with some emails and other messages and then I had some leftover soup that Jay cooked from the day before this soup was delish But it had paused for a second so i was able to do a few shots this place is very beautiful um, i love the foliage i like the surrounding areas and it feels like you're almost in a little cocoon by yourself <laughs> the way the um, complex is built this swimsuit that i'm wearing guys i've probably had it for about five years it could even be more than that. I realize that time is going by and I'm not even conscious of how much time has gone by sometimes. Um, yeah, but it's been in my swimsuit collection for a very long time. This is a swimsuit that I'll probably never ever ever get rid of. It's um it had straps that came with it and I couldn't find them anywhere. So I found these from my other swimsuit that I had that I no longer wear and I just transferred it to these. You can actually wear this strapless, but my boob is just too much. So I have to use these to actually make sure it doesn't fall where it shouldn't fall. So I'm gonna sit here for a bit, um, catch up on some messages. I'm hoping to edit and upload a video sometime this week. I've been really behind on getting videos to you. I usually try to get them within the seven days of each other. So like every week at a certain time. I'm focusing on Fridays now, but I realize that the my life is these days, I cannot actually commit to a day. But I'm really hoping to commit to Fridays soon. All right, my loves, I will check back in with you guys soon, okay? Are you serious? <laughs> she doing it? She is doing it. This was the first time that my mom got up since the surgery and actually used the walker to get around. So far, all we could do was assist her in getting in the wheelchair, and that was about it. But this is this is good. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Um, so we're trying to get to the doctor for my mom's follow-up and traffic is crazy as usual so I'm in the back there in the front 
my favorite people. I know for most this might look like nothing, but we've been on this quite a bit. Literally just creeping. So basically what should take us about 15 minutes is probably taking us twice as long. Maybe 30, 35 minutes. All right, we will check back in later. I'll get it duty free, I'm assuming. I'll find out. But either way, that's what. I was busting off 35, it's like 30 something okay, dollars. That's back because I bought a map with 20 something dollars. Yeah. That's not bad. Look at One of the good things about visiting some islands like Barbados is the ability to get a lot of things duty free. That means you can probably pay a whole lot less than if you were purchasing it here in the US. But that can't hold no boobs. Them there are for some flat chests. Huh? Everything here. Because it's for my work. Which is the work, you know? Go ahead, G. Go cash out. I was saying to G because G, G, G just like to walk in a straight line. You, you, you know, that's how she is. And see all this stress yeah. I have to deal with all the time. Yeah, so the people, it is known that only an immigration officer is supposed to ask you for your travel documents. Is if you're doing the duty free, you use your driver's license. <laughs> Just like how the U.S. driver's license is legal to drive almost in any country. Almost. Right? Almost in any country. Oh, she's a challenger. Look at her. Look at yeah. her. She challenged. She, she, she challenged me, you know. Yeah. But, you know, at the end of the day, I know but I was what? She will start out every right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm begging her to keep Jay for the day. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll give you a few more hours. But yeah, people, if you come down to the mall, you know, these are the people that would okay, definitely. Duty free. 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 Duty So, my cousin's here, and this is a moment or moments a moment like that. for Jay and I to, to play. So, we're going in the pool, guys. And he just take, took some photos for me. I love them. But I am wearing this swimsuit that I've had forever. I think I bought this from Pretty Little Thing or something. I've had it for ages, guys. 
and my my favorite sunglasses from Amazon. I've had this swimsuit so long and never wore it until today. I never wore it. I actually forgot I had it and then because I didn't do any shopping, I went to look for things that I hadn't worn in a long time. Came upon this. Loves it. All right, let's take you guys to the pool. Wanted to do that yesterday, but then the rain came. So, today is the day. Let's get you guys somewhere where the sun is not affecting us. Picked up coconuts today. <laughs> I just left a coconut with coconut water in it. I come back, there's no water in the coconut. Who can guess what happened to the coconut water? One guess. All right, a hint. Begins with a J. Babe, hey, why you drink my coconut water? No, you gotta go get me another one. There's a little bit of jelly in here, but not a lot, and it's pretty young, so there's not a lot of jelly. So wrong.
coming down, bend in, straighten in, up. Squeeze up. Two. Squeeze up. Down, up, bend, up. That's the move we're doing. All right. You can kneel and do this. You can stand and do this. It's really simple. Three. How low can you get? Four. Plant that heel in the front. Five. Which side is stronger? Three here. Curl it up. Behind the head. Do the same thing. And squeeze up. All right, prison hands. And forget the roll. If you don't want to use weight, close. Up. Seven. Step. Five. Come on, stand from the heels. And squeeze the glutes at the top. Seven. Two. Three. Five. Six. Seven, y'all. If you need to, just bring that knee down. Rest for a second and come back up. Try to keep the abs tight. Body is in alignment. Don't drop the neck too low. Hips too low or too high. Maybe I do it this way, you can see me better. So I'm just pushing back. Stretching out that inner thigh into that cobra position. Front knee bent as much as possible so that you can really stretch out the quads as well. Hands out. Nice. And keep your posture straight. Don't let them develop a hunch. Keep those shoulders back and keep them down. Don't hunch them up. They also put strain on your neck. All right, let's reach one arm up. Grab one and just swing it over. Pulling it down, trying to, you're really just stretching out the waistline. Your core has to keep you stable, but stretch out those obliques. And then back to center, drop the arms, bring the other arm up, stretch it out, stretch it out. So I just finished my workout and I'm about to go in the pool. Mom's out there. I'm gonna go get in. Actually, Jill, he was helping her to work out. He put up these, um, this band that we had, we got yesterday. So he attached it to the pole. She was doing her own thing. Mom, it's not hot there? Not really. All right, we're gonna take a shower just now. <laughs> you wanna see? Look, look my mother, look she. Did she look like Rare Charles, guys? She's wearing these stone for she's a baddie. Better don't mess with my mama. <laughs> Love it. Them look good on you though, mom. Love them. Oh, 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 it feels refreshing though. Fresh watermelon. I just jumped in the pool. I'm trying to get 
try to swim. <laughs> I'm about to go take a shower and get some real breakfast. Today, today my sister is supposed to be coming over. So Jay and I are gonna head out, do some grocery, maybe get to the beach for a bit. And then I'm gonna go pick up my cousin who's also gonna come back here and then later on we plan to try to get to a restaurant that we were trying to get to last night. We also wanna see a movie. Yeah, we want to see um, Woman King. We're planning on going to the drive-in. I haven't been to the drive-in forever, so I think that that would be a good buy. Jay went and picked up a whole bunch of stuff this morning. Plantains. Got some onions. <laughs> scallion. They call it chives here in Barbados. Or rather, we call it chives. Okra. I don't know what he's making. Some thyme, some cucumbers, some beautiful bananas. Everything is organic. Watermelons actually have seeds. They're not seedless. Right, grown here by our neighboring farmers from the plantains, onions, everything. Now, like bananas, avocados, all grown here. I always feel so much better when I'm here at home eating. These views are so good. Could never get tired of these views, fam. <laughs> so, Jay and I, we have a little minute to just relax before going to bed. And I wanted to touch base with you guys. Um, this has been quite a trip. I don't even know how I'm going to edit or upload the Barbados um, vlogs. Literally, the, my days have been so packed and not intentionally packed, just packed because I don't really get a lot of time to like, just relax and decompress. And this is the first time for the day that I actually am relaxed, like relaxing, other than what we ate this evening. So it's Sunday after, Sunday night. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what it's been like caring for my mom and I know a lot of people who who watch this probably have gone through this before with loved ones listen kudos to you kudos to anyone who has to take care of a loved one who is not able to take care of themselves whether it's a child a brother sister a parent like a husband a wife a sister a girlfriend a boyfriend it's like kudos to you I mean, guys, listen, I wake up in the morning and I work hard. I'm working out since while I'm here. Most mornings, I'm up by five. Um, even on a weekend. On weekdays, actually, I'm up a little earlier than that because I'm working up at 7.30. And I have to get, up and get my mom cleaned up and ready for the day and then get myself ready for the day. Got to get her in a wheelchair. And then I have to take her to the bathroom. She actually takes a shower sitting down. Um, it's been a struggle. She has a walker as well. And she can use the walker to like assist herself to get up. So I can bathe her. But it's her arms, her legs, they're all very, very weak. So I kind of just wanted to give you guys a little insight on what it has been like. Um, the reality of uh, the trip <laughs> of being here is beautiful that makes it so much better just being in this environment can make it less stressful you know 
yeah so yeah that's it I'm probably gonna head back in really soon because I don't like to like too far away from her for too long we uh, Gia has to give her injections she has to take these um, blood thinner injections because they don't want her to get blood clots and I she, she definitely don't want me to give her them because I'm so scared to give her an injection I always feel like I'm gonna hurt her we haven't been doing a lot there's a lot that we filmed since we've been here and yeah so Jaglo vlog they're gonna be so much more information and more stuff about Barbados or you know the the cultural part of Barbados the as he called it the native side of Barbados Jaglo vlog is gonna be if you're really interested in how the Barbadians live and how Bajans yes. do things that's the vlog for you you're yeah you're gonna get to see like my neighborhood where I grew up you're gonna get to see me going over with my uncle like there's like we're yeah I'm probably gonna look out a little bit of those things in some of my vlogs but not much definitely most of it is gonna be on the Jaglo vlog all right peeps good night I will see you guys again really really soon bye I'm from a city that's high school I give them the cinema I go uh, 